Hello, Elvena players. Hello, Elvena players. Yeah. It's again us. Yeah, again. Sieke <laughs> and Timon from the Elvena team. Today's topic is the yeah. new guest race, the halflings. Yeah. So, what is it about? Uh, you know, in the last guest race, the sorcerers came and built up this big university. And in the end, when you have like trained enough uh, graduates, they decide to leave your town again, but they will teach you one last special trick. And this is how you resurrect the halflings. In the uh -huh. end. Yeah, halflings, for once, uh, we decided that this time this will be a race that is a bit more grateful than the former ones, which were all like very proud. And um, it's, it was like they are the teachers and you are the, the pupils listening to them and you learn new stuff from them. But this time we, we said we should create a bit of a different feeling where they are really grateful and they also look uh, up to you, what uh, they can learn from you. So there's more of a cultural exchange at the beginning already. The upgrade of your trader, you know, this age is all building that never evolved into anything. Uh, and now it starts producing seeds and for free. You just can collect this new resource and it can be used for all kinds of stuff in the settlement of the halflings, but also in the tech tree uh, be used for, to unlock technologies and also in the future to construct new culture buildings. Yeah, usually um, you upgrade a uh, production building yeah. uh, to have more output at the same time, like from 100 per hour to 150 per hour or something. And this time those fields work very different. So what you are constructing in this settlement is a big farm surrounded so that you have like smaller houses we call farms as well <laughs> and they are surrounded by fields. So and the farms work like you are used to it. No? So you, you upgrade the farms and their productions increase, but the fields, if you upgrade them, they change what is produced on the field. Exactly. So there's a new twist where you do not just try to upgrade everything to the last level to have the best output. Uh, this time you have to think about which field will be upgraded and which field should I keep on a certain level so it continues to produce stuff. And the good thing with uh, the fields being um, relevant in each different level is that it looks more diverse diverse yes exactly mm. diverse and it is really it's so peaceful and it feels so like home and actually um when we were first um developing those halflings and i got the first looks uh, from the concept artists i was like wow i i really want to live in one of those houses because they're so tiny and cute and they have animals every not everywhere but in several buildings and yeah, it's, it's really cool. Yeah. You, you know, if you played through uh, lots of our chapters and guest races already, there's this tendency that you have the same amount of buildings very often in your town. So also in the settlements, you have mostly two or maybe three different kinds of buildings and you have to build them five to ten times. Many parts look the same then. But this time, with every field having different purpose on different levels, the look is way more varied. That's yeah. really, really nice. It looks really cool. Oh, uh, maybe we should mention that. We, uh, for the first time, we have someone to filter uh, the questions for us. So <laughs> yeah. we don't have to uh, search for them the whole time. That's yeah. Matt. Thank you. <laughs> us having released a mobile version of Elvena, actually, mm -hmm. just recently. And for now, only in the UK. So if you are from the United Kingdom, you can go to the app stores and download it for Android and for... So what we are doing is we try to uh, like uh, make your account as you play on the browser completely available on the mobile version. So you, uh, you can just continue using your city, but now everywhere where you want to have yeah. it. And this takes time to add all the features that are in the browser game to the mobile version. So we are now at a state where we think it's cool uh, to play with this app. So we re released it on UK and we are further adding more and more features that are already in the browser game to this app. And when we feel it feels a bit more complete, we will of course expand it and make it available all around the globe. Yeah, exactly. You can do all all the core stuff already. You can mm -hmm. up build and upgrade yeah. the buildings and you can of course um, unlock technologies yeah. and go to the world map and uh, even uh, negotiate and have 
Auto fight. Fight. Yeah, Auto yeah. fights, yeah, manual fight is something more tricky. Yeah. Um, and since it's uh, just in addition to your browser experience, as someone who is already playing on browser, you can just use it for everything that already works. And what does not yet work on mobile, you can still do in the browser. It's really nice. The, the <laughs> thing is, the stuff that is in the app works almost perfectly. Yeah. So we might have some bugs that will be updated and uh, then it's fine. Yeah. But we, we, what is in the app works. Absolutely. But the app is not complete yet. And our initial goal was to have an app that can, if you like, replace the browser version for some people who only want to play on the app. And that is not achieved yet. That is why we choose to have this app with limited um, feature set only available in the UK to see how far we are already. Are people satisfied with the content already? And maybe we can release it earlier on international if, if the response is like, hey, we, we can wait for the other features a bit. It's fine. Just give us the app right now. <laughs> Will there ever be any way to gain diamonds in-game? Yes, we are looking into possibilities how and when and, and how much players can get diamonds by playing the game. But we are very cautious with this for obvious reasons. Uh, but now, in the Halflings chapter, we implemented a quest where uh, which reward is diamonds. So. If you play all through the quest lines of the Halflings, you can win some, some diamonds. Until now, it's, uh, you cannot earn diamonds in the game. And this is only like one, a test for us. We implemented it now for one quest. Yeah. <laughs> At the beginning of the Halflings chapter, you unlock an upgrade for the trader. So it will upgrade to level two. From that moment on, it will automatically generate divine seeds for you for free you just have to collect it like you collect coins and there are some nice twists about it so it will produce more seeds the more provinces you have completed and uh, it also depends on your main hall level it's actually a relatively simple calculation it just multiplies your main hall level with the amount of completed provinces and that's the seeds it produces a day but there's another twist you get additional seeds every time you collect. So let's say it says, hey, you can now collect 1,000 seeds. And then you click on it, and suddenly you get 1,500 seeds. So mm. these 500 seeds. Is this depending on the ancient wonder? Exactly. So oh. every time you collect seeds, your ancient wonders pay off. <laughs> because the more ancient wonders you have, and the more they are leveled up, the higher the, this pickup bonus, as we call it, will be. And from that, from then on, they work similar to mana. So you can store them unlimitedly, but a small amount decays overnight, every night. And you use them for unlocking new technologies and for constructing certain buildings in the halfling settlement and for cultural buildings. Actually, I don't know how much I can say about that, but we are looking into the spells and into ways how to expand it and uh, yeah we are trying to find ways how to make it more attractive and how to introduce maybe other kinds of spells yeah. i think i can talk about this quite soonish yeah. but not yet today not yet today i'm sorry yeah. <laughs> we are actually currently looking into this matter because also neighborly help will be a, a topic for the mobile app and therefore we uh, are currently, uh, currently iterating on several other solutions which I can't go into detail about because they're still in progress but we are definitely looking into this, uh, this, um, this issue and I'm pretty sure we can improve on that. To, to answer this uh, okay. question from another perspective, yes we also hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we know about it, and we also know it has been that way for quite a long time. We apologize. We do, we want to improve that definitely. Uh, One, two, three. You <laughs> sorry, sorry. Now you have to suffer. Okay, keep, keep on, on playing. playing.